Good morning, kindergarten friends. I hope you're having a great first day. So we, this week, are gonna be talking about kindergarten skills, things that we use for all of our learning in kindergarten. And one very important thing is coloring. We color a lot of different things inside of our classroom, and you'll also be doing some things at home with coloring. So on your, on your kindergarten supply list, we had crayons. And ever since I was a little girl and in school myself, one of my very favorite things about going back to school was getting brand new crayons. So I have my box of brand new crayons. So you should have some crayons at home. So let's talk about what coloring should look like when you're in kindergarten. Big kid kindergartners do three things when they're coloring. We color in the lines. Our colors make sense and we have no white spaces. So we'll talk about them as we complete this chart. So this chart is called My Awesome Coloring Paper. So let's start with number one, color in the lines. So I have three apples here. My first apple has a sad face. My second apple has a medium face. And my last apple has a happy face. So I'm gonna color this so that you can see what our coloring should look like. Color in the line. So I'm gonna take a red because lots of apples are red. And let's watch me color this apple. Oh my goodness, do you see that? I colored really fast and look all around here. My coloring is not in the lines. I didn't even try to keep my color marks inside of my apple lines. They are all on the outside. Mm, that kind of coloring makes me sad because that's not what our coloring should look like. Let's move to the next apple. I'm also going to get a green out for my leaf. I'm gonna start with my green and color my leaf. And I'm gonna take my time You see, my green is on the inside of my leaf lines. I stayed in the lines. Oh, I need to hurry. Okay. Oh, I'm finished. Now look at that. It's better than this one, but I still got a little bit out of the lines. And a lot of times when that happens, we're rushing. We're not taking our time to make our work look very nice. So that's a medium face because we got some in the lines, but some are outside of the lines. Next, I have a smiley face apple. So I'm gonna show you what that would look like. I'm gonna start with my green for my leaf on my apple. And I'm coloring nice and slow. And I'm keeping it inside of the black line. I'm also going to get a brown out for my apple stem. I'm gonna color nice and slow to keep my colors inside the lines. Then I'm gonna take my red and I'm gonna color inside of the lines nice and slowly, taking my time to make my apple look nice. Sometimes I like to take my crayon and go along the lines to make sure I stay inside the lines when I'm coloring. If your hand starts to hurt as you're coloring, you can take a break. Sometimes if you squeeze the crayon too tight, it will make your hands hurt. So hold it a little bit looser and see if that helps. I go around these lines. Look at how nice that looks. It's inside of the lines and I colored them all the right color. Doesn't that apple look nice? That has a smiley face because that is awesome coloring. Next, 
let's talk about colors make sense. So I have three suns. Hmm, I think I might color my first sun purple. inside the lines. Remember that was our first rule that we talked about? And I'm coloring my son purple. Now friends, let's think about our world. Hmm. And we're working on colors making sense. Go look outside the window. The sun is not purple. Oh. That's a sad type of coloring because that color doesn't make sense. Sun are not purple. Okay, let's see, the sun is yellow. I think the sun is yellow. When I look outside, that's the color I see. So I'm gonna color the inside of this sun yellow. Oh, and then I'm gonna get another color. Color my outside parts purple. Remember, I'm still staying in the lines with my coloring. Okay, guys, let's take a look at that. Remember, we said the sun is yellow. It's not purple. I can't color part of my sun the right color and part of my sun a color that doesn't make sense. So that's a medium face. For my smiley face, let's think. The sun is yellow or even sometimes it looks orange. So if you wanted to use two colors, you could use yellow and orange or you could use all orange or you could use all yellow. Those colors make sense. Other colors do not make sense when you're coloring the sun. So I'm gonna color my last smiley face coloring sun all yellow. Staying inside of the lines. Check out that sun. The colors make sense and I stayed inside the lines. So that gets a smiley face for coloring. Our last rule that we're gonna talk about is no white spaces. When we color, we wanna color the whole picture. So I have three flowers. So I'm gonna start with the first one and I'm gonna color the stem green and the leaves green. Then I'm gonna color the inside of my flower yellow. Then I'm gonna color my petals pink. Now, if you look closely, I did not color all of the space inside of the lines. I left lots of white spaces. Remember, no white spaces. When we color, we want to color all in. So, let me try again. I'm gonna to go to the next flower, and I'm gonna take my time and color my petals. And I'm gonna color all of them, all in really, really well, making sure that the whole petal is pink and there's no white from my paper showing. But then, get my yellow, and I wanna hurry. So I color just a little bit. I'm gonna color just a little bit of this. And I'm done. Oh no, when I look at it, I left some white in parts of my middle of my flower and parts of my stem and my leaves. So I didn't fill in all the white spaces. I did some, but not all of them. So that gets a medium face. So now I'm gonna color the flower 
using my crayons and color all of the white space in. Take my pink first. Color all the space with the petals. all of the white, making sure none of my paper, the white of my paper is showing. Next, I'm gonna take my yellow from my middle of my flower and I'm gonna color it all the way in so no white from my paper is showing. And last, I'm gonna take the green color all of my stem in with no white showing. Sometimes I will sit back and look and if I see a little bit more white, I'll go in with my crayon and get that colored over so that we don't see any white from our paper inside of our picture. So there is our awesome coloring paper. Remember, we color in the lines, our colors make sense, and we use no white, we leave no white spaces. And remember, look at our nice pictures. Look outside your window, look in your house at your world. We use different colors in our coloring because our whole world is full of different colors. Don't forget to treat your crayons nicely. We don't want to break them on purpose because they're much easier to use and much nicer to use when they're whole. Also, we only color on paper. We're not coloring on walls. We're not coloring on tables or chairs. That's not what crayons are for. They're for coloring on paper. So today, your independent work is to color the school supplies coloring sheet. And remember, your colors are going to make sense. So let's talk about what that looks like. I have a pencil here. Take a look at the pencil. This eraser on this pencil actually is different colors. It's pink and blue. Your pencil at home may have just a pink eraser. This pencil is yellow. Your pencil at home may look different. Color your pencil using realistic colors, what it really would look like. We have a glue bottle. This glue bottle has a sign on it to tell what kind it is. The glue bottle on your paper doesn't, so that middle sticker space, you could color any color. Glue bottles are white and they have an orange tip. This is what the glue bottle looks like. So color that with realistic colors. Also, here is our crayon box. Look at your crayon box when you're coloring your crayons. The crayon sticking out should only be one color each. And remember, do your very, very best to keep your crayon coloring inside of the lines.